The month of March is Irish American Heritage Month. Every year, Bronxboro President Ruben Dears Jr. highlights some of the outstanding Irish Americans. And this year is no different. You should know this. The Irish com came north to the Bronx to build the railways uh, and the city's water system. Over 2,000 Irish men worked here in the shafts and ditches of the Croton Aqueduct. Gaelic Park, right here where we are now, uh, was a 2,000-seat stadium. Uh, and it sits in the shadow, of course, of the L over on 204, uh, 240th Street here in Riverdale. And it was also where there were many different sports that were played uh, here in New York by the Irish community. Uh, some of them you may be familiar with, uh, like the hurling, which is a combination of baseball, lacrosse, and field hockey. Uh, in Highbridgeville, which was predominantly Irish, uh, many settled here uh, to come and to not only work on the Croton uh, Aqueduct, but also to work on the Highbridge, which we were able to restore and open up a couple of years ago. So when you look at New York City and you, you see how New York City has grown, that would not have happened if it were not for the fact that we can get fresh water from upstate to the city through the Bronx. And who did that? The Irish community. And those who continue to serve the community is also being recognized. And they are New York City Council Member Elizabeth Crowley, Tom Glackin, a business owner, and William Bill Morrow, Secretary to New York State Governor Andrew Cuomo. I'm thrilled to be here. It's nice to be back in this part of the, of the city. I gotta tell you, if it wasn't for the Bronx, uh, I'm not sure where it would be. And I am just thrilled and honored for this honor. And I'm thrilled and happy to see that the Bronx is just thriving and better than ever. But it really came as a surprise, and I'm tickled silly to be honored, as well as the other honorees as well. Believe me, it's great. And the people that you meet in the Bronx, you'll never meet any place else. I want to thank the borough president for recognizing um, my contribution, and I also want to thank him for always remembering other people's cu cultures and the diversity uh, within the borough that makes the Bronx like no place else in the world. The celebration continues, showcasing different parts of the Irish heritage, such as the food, dance, and music. I am Katie Loy Knight.